Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video showing you how I 3D print parts. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating with a catch can for the go-kart. We've gone through a few designs. This one wasn't very good. Um, this is the cap, but we're going to, these are some other things I've made. I'll show you the file here in a minute. I'm gonna walk you through how this works. We're gonna switch the filament as well to black. This is new as of Christmas. So we're making a few things on it, kind of just for fun. So we got the gray off, heat up the nozzle. Brand new roll of black hyper PDA prints at five times the speed, well, four times the speed of a conventional printer like our old one. Some of the stuff like this towel holder I made right here, you can find on Thingiverse. I'll put a link in the description. I posted this, which I designed in Autodesk Inventor, along with 3D fabric from the Bamboo Lab on Thingiverse. I've also made some articulated stuff like this dragon and this slug, a kind of working switchblade, and some valve core removal tools for the bike. Here's the catch can. My dad designed this in SolidWorks. This is for the go kart. Cool cap as well. This goes on the back right behind the engine. So we're going to have to set the infill to 100%. Save that. And we're also going to need some supports under the threads. Um, we're going to do auto brim, generate support, yes, touching build plate. Save it and slice it, and then it gives us an estimate. That's the old one. <laughs> Sorry for my voice, I have a bit of a cold. My sister's saying it's gonna take five hours, it's only gonna cost a dollar ninety six, not a dollar ninety seven to make. It's gonna use a hundred grams of material, which is really cool from the Creality. Slicer, I know it's not the most popular, but I like it. And we can also see our supports right here for the threads down there as well. This is the KE model. It's basically brand new. It came out two months ago, I believe. And it's their fast printer. Here's our filament. It's starting to come out. There we go. Now we're ready after my dad gets back with the base plate to start the print. Let me know if you guys want this file posted as well on Thingiverse because I can after we do it. If you have a go-kart or anything else you need, a little tank shape kind of thing for. So we're going to let this thing boot up. This thing took about 30 minutes to assemble and we'd already done a benchy within an hour of opening the box and this does print at 500 millimeters a second so it can do benchy in about 20 minutes so we're gonna go here this is my old one you can see it that's the one that i designed and then this is the new one right here Less than 100 grams of this thing. So we used basically all that. So we decided to split them up in case one of them went wrong. I know it says fixed, but that's just because I separated it and needed a new name for the file. So this one says it'll take, well, the, the slicer said it would take 32 minutes. So we will be back after it finishes calibrating because we took off the build plate and cleaned it really good so it might have just 
uncalibrated it, so we're doing that. And then it'll get to printing. Here we have it. Looks really good. So we're gonna take off the first one here. Use this up a little bit. So we can take off the build plate. Then I'm going to set this right here. We're going to just What's it until it comes off just like that? You can see down here in the bottom, that's where our supports are. So we're gonna grab the cutters and carefully pull this out. Go right down in the middle and just pull it straight up. Which is one of my favorite things about this printer. This is supports are amazing. You can't really see it, but the threads in there look really good. Just like we want them to be. And there's the cap. So now I'm going to start the tank. And that's going to take a little bit longer. A little over four hours. So I'll be back for that later. It's been about four hours. We're getting 34 minutes left. It's looking really good. And here it is. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Oh. Just come off. And now for these supports and Goes. And the broom. Fine tune that more in a little bit. So now we have that, and then our main cap. Moment 
the truth to see if it threads. Welp. Let's see where's the start here. Well, I guess we're gonna need to make a new cap here. But this kind of stuff happens, so that's okay. So the threads are a little bit, they came off the printer a little bit um, jank, I guess you could say, because there were supports in here. But we just used the razor blade. And now, works good. So that's how we make 3D print parts, they're actually functional. Stay tuned for video when we go out to the track. We can also be testing this to see how it holds up. The walls are pretty thick and this is PLA, so I hope that it's able to be functional. If not, we have some ABS over here. Right there. Some other colors, but they aren't high-speed filaments, so that kind of matters, but that's all for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.